24th week in ordinary time wednesday reflection my dear friends if you don't take the responsibility if you pass the ball to another person you will never grow if you want to grow you have to take the responsibility there is a method of escapism you escape situations because you are scared and you are cunning sometimes you are cheating because you if you accept it and uh, then it it should challenge you then you have to change so you are lethargic lazy and you are greedy to leave and let go so that's the very reason you cover up you pass the ball to another person and then you think that's fine at that time jesus said to to what then shall i compare these people of this generation and what are they like they are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another we played the flute for you and you did not dance we sang a dirge and you did not weep so it's something that i have done my part and you have not doing you are not doing your part so you simply cannot you simply cannot wash your hands off that's pilot's culture it's different so you simply cannot say that, that i have played the fruit you didn't dance so it's 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 more than that you take the responsibility and you follow you respond and in that response only you are going to change that's the word, that's why the lord is saying we played the flute and you did not dance for john the baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine and you say he has a demon the son of man has come eating and drinking and you say look at him a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners yet wisdom is justified by all her children my dear friends now you don't want to accept you have to, you want to cover up you want to push the pass the ball to another person you you find fault with the messenger because you hate the message you lock the messenger you block the messenger because you heard the message that 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 can be really dangerous in your life that's the very reason my dear friends that we we have to be aware we have to be aware you cannot just say that i have done my part and you are not doing it part you read 1 corinthians chapter 12 we are all one part we are all parts of one body so you, you simply cannot do that so that's exactly why you should take the responsibility accept the mistake in your life so if you do so only you can grow at the time behold i hope to come to you soon but i am writing these things to you so that if i delay you may know how one ought to believe in the house of household of god which is the church of the living living god a pillar and a buttress of the truth great indeed we confess in the mystery of gladness he has manifested in the flesh vindicated by the spirit seen by the angels proclaimed among the nations believe believe believed on the world taken up in glory so my dear friends see how paul paul is concerned about the community even though if even though i can't come i will send someone so so the concern you do not pass the ball it's my responsibility so if i don't come so fully responsibility is taken that's important if you want to grow in your life in your in your accepting only you will grow otherwise you will have excuses in life always 
Now, take, take Jesus and John the Baptist. John the Baptist was fasting. He didn't come eating and drinking. So they say he has evil spirit because they want an excuse to make. And when comes to, when comes to, uh, when comes to Jesus, he came dancing and eating and drinking. Not like a drunkard though. So Jesus, they, they saw, they saw, so they saw Jesus in the other extreme. So they say, he's a glutton. Because you find, the, find fault with the messenger and the message is twisted, curtailed. So what, what, what should happen? What should happen is not happening in your life. John the Baptist cleared the path, prepared the way for Jesus. Now they didn't want to listen to him. So it can be, it can be, by listening, they can lose many things. So that's exactly why we need to focus on this strongly. That, that we, we take the responsibility. We accept the message and the message of both. Because that message is going to change me, going to mold me, going to break me. So we are scared of that pain. So we don't want to listen, isn't it? Great, we confess in the mystery of godliness. He has manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on the word, world taken up in glory. So it's a different, different realm. The moment you accept, the moment you accept, despite your disposition, the moment you accept that, that the Lord would do something, you don't have to hide. You are simply free to move on. You don't have to cover up. So just accept it. Word, is, word of God is, double, is like a double-edged sword. So whenever, whenever you see something, so when you hear a challenging voice, don't find fault with the messenger. Accept the message. So, so in the other hand, in the other hand, you simply cannot say that we, I have done my part. So I wash my hands off. No, it has to be deeper than that. You take the responsibility of that full person. They all like children sitting in the marketplace, calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We sang a bridge and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating and no bread and drinking no wine. And you say that he has a demon. Look at him. The son of man has come eating and drinking and you say, look at him, a glutton. So you find fault with the messenger and you, you don't accept. Nothing would happen to them. It affects you. It actually affects you strongly, dear, dear friends. So that's exactly how the Lord is calling and Lord is challenging you to accept without passing the ball. Accept your fault. And it's mena culpa, it's my fault. And that in that journey, you will find strength. You don't have to hide or cover anything in your life. Just accept, it's my fault. And you are being loved by God enormously. Think about it, have a nice day. May God bless you.